Did you know that these shapes are called prisms? Yes, as a matter of fact, a solid shape whose opposite faces are the same plane shape is classified as a prism. Think of it as joining identical plane shapes together until you obtain a desired level of thickness. So, if we join identical rectangles, we will get a rectangular prism called a cuboid. And identical squares will produce a prism called a cube. Now we've learned about cubes and cuboids in grade five, so let's look at two new shapes. What type of prism do we get if we join identical circles together? That's right, a cylinder. I'm sure you've seen solid shapes that remind you of cylinders at home. For instance, a tin of tomatoes or a can of paint. Even your water bottle has a cylindrical shape. What happens if we glue identical triangles together? Well, this prism is called a triangular prism. It's a type of pentahedron. Do you know what this shape reminds me of? Hmm, let's see. A slice of pie, a slice of watermelon, the roof of a house, and a camping tent. Like all other prisms, we can also determine the volume of a cylinder and a triangular prism using their base. Remember that the volume of a solid shape is the area of its base multiplied by its extended length. Now, since a cylinder has a circular base, its volume will be the area of a circle multiplied by the extended length, which in the case of a cylinder is its height. The area of a circle is pi times radius squared. So our volume is pi times radius squared times height. So assuming this cylinder had a radius of three meters and a height of seven meters, its volume is 22 over seven times three times three times seven. We can simplify this equation to 22 times three times three. So the volume is 198 cubic meters. Okay, let's take a look at our triangular prism. The base of this prism is a triangle. Do you remember the formula for the area of a triangle? That's right, half base times height. Multiplying this by the extended length of the prism gives the volume. So suppose this prism was made by stacking 10 identical triangles whose area is 14 squared centimeters. What is the volume? In this question, our extended length is the same as the number of triangles used to make this prism, that is 10. Hence, the volume of this prism is the area of the base times 10, that is 14 squared centimeters times 10 centimeters, which equals 140 cubic centimeters. I think we can stop here for now, but you don't have to. You can make your own solid shapes using any plane shape you find. So go ahead and try, and I'll see you in another lesson.